driving me insane Silence rattles in my brain Yeah, I gotta get away Always waiting for the fall So I build my tablet store It's all about picking yourself back up, right? All right, let's get to it. Yo, what's up, guys? Look who I ran into. It's the famous, popular, you know, Amy. Mm -hmm. I was surprised when I saw Amy in Kensington, but you know, she got some stuff she wanted, you know, let us know her situation, give us a little update. All you guys. A lot of people aren't gonna be happy to see me back. It's okay. All right, Amy, it's was, all on you. There was a reason why I came back. Um, I relapsed when I went home. It wasn't a long relapse. And I wanted to come back here to go to rehab because Kirk Bride has saying the rehab. A lot of people know about it. It's a very good place. The counselors love me. They help me there. And there's also a medication that they prescribe that a lot of rehabs don't. And the drugs they got out here nowadays has fentanyl and it has trank in it. Nothing touches that, so you're going to go through it no matter what, you're going to be sick. So, Kirk Ride medicates for that. So I came all the way back here to access the net, everybody knows the net, and I didn't have to be insurance, but I went through a lot of, a lot. I went through hours sitting at the hospital being tested for COVID to make sure, and then sitting there waiting for a bed for them to come back and say, at one in the morning, we can only give you a bus pass you got you don't have the right insurance. I said, can you switch it? That takes days. So I didn't know where else to go. I didn't have any money. And this is the only spot that I know. So, and people know me, you know. And I got to see my boy again. Yes. That was cool. What right. To you? Look, look. He said was, wow, you look, your face is filled up. <laughs> I've been healthy, I've been eating, I've been spending time with my family. And my daughter doesn't know that I'm here and she's gonna see this video and I'm always honest with her. The reason why I came here wasn't to come back out onto the street. I never wanna live like that again. I've been here three days and I'm, I'm trying to go home. I'll be home within the next couple of days. And I can answer to some of your comments like I've been. Yes, guys. So all you guys who've been asking me how's Amy doing, been giving her a lot of, you know, positive comments on her video, letting her know that she's not alone. Amy, so now it's your time to talk to your supporters and, you know, let them, let them know how you feel about their support. Oh, man. It saved my life. Doing, doing this vid the videos that I did and hearing some of them comments, I get choked up. You all know that. I, I'm an emotional person, <laughs> but it saved my life. This video saved my life, reunited me with my kids, got me clean, gave me hope. Um, but I'll never forget this place. Like, there's a lot of people I care about here, and they don't know it, that they're, that they're worth more than what they're putting themselves to. But hopefully, God will show them the way. So, Amy, let me ask you this question. How long? Have you been in Kensington now? As far as like when you left, how many days? Three. Wow, three days. Yeah, I paid fifty dollars, which was was only like not even half of what it cost to get here. <clears throat> A friend of mine who's in recovery, you know who you are. Thank you for helping me out. Um, drove me all the way here with with GPS, <laughs> and it wasn't fun coming back in. Like I got all them feelings again. Like it hurts me to see a lot of. The people out here, M months ago when I left, they're still in the same spot. But I have hope and I pray for them that they're going to move on someday, hopefully soon. And I'm just happy they're still alive. You know? and, and it's like people, I got people like, hey, Boston, I seen your video. People that I don't even know giving me hugs and stuff. So that feels good. I'm not a judgmental person. I'm a drug addict. I'm an alcoholic. I will always be. I have to live with that for the rest of my life. It's not easy. 
Sometimes when the pain gets too great, you want to numb that pain. And then you don't know how to get away from it because it messes with your mind. But we all have family. We have people that love us. The drugs just make you forget that. Absolutely. Yeah. What's I didn't think anybody loved me or cared about me. And then, because I wasn't calling them, they didn't know where I was. But when my daughter seen this video, by like, but by the grace of God, out in Boston, popped up on her phone. She came out here. She interventioned my ass. <laughs> You're leaving to go to the methadone clinic today, you said? Something like that? Yeah, I, I have to, I had, the whole switching your insurance thing, I'm not used to that. In Massachusetts, if you're on Medicaid, no matter what city you live in, it stays. But in Pennsylvania, it's different. I didn't know that. If you move to a different county, you go to switch your insurance. So that's, that's what happened to me. And they just gave me a bus pass and told me I had to go. So what's your plans for today? I'm going to, I'm going to, what's my plans for today? Mm -hmm. Well, I have to make some phone calls, and I'm just gonna try to get home. It's when you not say gonna cost me too much money. When you say home, where is home? Boston. So you want to go back to Boston? Yes. So, I mean, we can definitely make that possible f for you well, today if you want to go. You know, he's coming, but I have to pay for the gas. <laughs> okay, listen, I'll pay for gas. That's no problem. I just want to see you get to where you need to get to. You know. I came out here to go. Let, let the train go by real quick. All right. Your thoughts. That train is so loud. Okay, go ahead, Emmy. Uh huh? I don't like that. I keep hearing noise. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Hope is, is going to take care of that for you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, continue. Yeah, I came out here because uh, well, when I was out here before, I went to this rehab and, and it was very special to me and I wanted to go back. Plus, they medicate you, right? And I'm back out on the street now, so instead of just being stuck like I was before, I'm going to be responsible and get the hell out of here. You should be home. It's different here, I'll tell you. Definitely is. It looks like the cops are out more. It's not the same out here no more. The place looks very depressing. It's, it is, it's a depressing place anyway due to the fact what goes on down here and all the the, the, the souls that has passed, that died on the streets. So this place is like haunted, yeah. you know, for a lot of people who don't know, this grounds is haunted, man. So if you come out here, this, the black hole, like they call it, you will get stuck. But you know, some people got the willpower to pull themselves out. The picture that you took, you know, that my, my someone took, but you posted it. Of my, my daughter and I, yeah. Xander and I reuniting um, in right. the parking lot in Allegheny. Mm -hmm. Sad to say, but last night I was walking up there and there was, uh, you know, you see it a lot. People pass out on the street, and there was a, there was a man there, like he was gone. Damn. So, Jesus. Everybody was just walking by him. Nobody was checking. Him. You know, like. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's just sad. Like that happens here every day. So, so Amy, so let's get. Somebody like that, check on. Them. Definitely, always, always do. So Amy. So you say you need gas money to get to Boston, right? Well, he's not going to charge me the whole thing. Well, okay, so I just want to make sure that if I do give you the, how much is, how much will you say you think you need? To, $50. $50. Okay. If I do give you this $50, you promise me I'm not going to see you out here the next day or the day after or no, a couple days after, you you're going to send me a picture. I'm going to send you guys all a picture. Okay, great. All right, so you hear that, guys? I I'm going to. Hey, you know, I'm happy to see you. And you know, your audience, I mean, your supporters. Look at me, I gained weight. Yeah, she gained weight, guys. I'm definitely going to show them. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Amy got a, <laughs> Amy got, Amy got cake, guys. She's holding. All them guys out here is going to be hollering at her. I feel better, though. I'm healthier. Right. right. Exactly. That's, that's, that's positive to hear. Well, well, that's great to hear, Amy. And, you know, I will give you the $50 so that way you can get back home and stuff, okay? Yeah, you know I'm here for you. You got any last words you want to say to the audience before we wrap this up? Um, thank you for all your support. I love you guys. Okay. And I will be looking forward to hearing your comments. Send me some comments because I like, it gives me hope, it gives me something positive to do and I will respond, you know. Right, right. Okay, guys.
You heard from the lovely Miss Amy. So I'm gonna go to the ATM right now, get her that $50, and get her back on her way to Boston again. All right? All right, guys, peace. Yeah, that's the lovely Amy you guys love. See, she's fly, she's, you know, it's a- Clean shoes This on. like, this like the 1080. But it's this, been three days, I need a new pair. This like the 1080p version. Okay, so, here Thank you go, you. Amy. So, going home money. So, Amy got her going home money. Wish her now the best. Now he knows that the, come get me. <laughs> yeah, okay guys, so like I said, hopefully we'll, I won't see Amy out here again, but if I do, I understand, you know? But I wish you the best, okay, sweetheart? Okay. Okay, yeah. take care, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. I gotta save me from myself. This emptiness, it hurts like hell. My good intentions let me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah